Hey, hey gang, today we're going to be doing our third headset in our Bluetooth headset series. These are the Edifier GX07s. They are by far uh, the weirdest looking ones. And uh, I, I don't know, it basically says made for gaming on the back. And they had it was a, about the same price point as everything else. So I wanted to go ahead and get something that looked a little more off brand. If you guys have heard of this brand before, then by all means, great for you. But we're going to open this up and oops, we're going to open this up and see what's inside and what we can kind of expect going forward. All right, these are just like the rest. They are Bluetooth 5.0 and above. So we're going to open this up. We can get this out here. Try not to ruin these boxes because, you know, you guys might get one of these. There we go. This one slides out to the side. Oh, it's by Hecate. I've actually heard of them. This is by far the nicest case we've gotten so far. Ooh, check these things out, dude. Yo, all right. These are cool looking. They're already starting to light up and trying to pair with stuff, which is super cool. It has enough power right out the bat. Uh, I do like the RGBs. The aesthetic is freaking amazing. Look at this. Look at this fancy little guy here. It is very futuristic looking for sure. And I'm, I'm actually looking kind of forward to these. I thought they were going to be something like a, like a throwaway kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, these look super cool, man. All right, let's see what else we get in the box here. I'm sure it's going to be a charger and everything else, but let's go ahead and get that. This is a really nice manual that you get with this thing. And then, oh, what is this? This is nice. This is like a little case, like a coin curse, a coin, a coin curse, a coin purse type thing to carry this there's desk kit in here that keep it nice and dry i guess if you actually kept that in there and then you could put this in here to carry it for like protection very cool that's a neat little thing and then you get little uh ear things so you've got it comes with medium and you get small and large and then uh another usb c charger that we get right here all right, right off the bat, like I said, I really love this little case, how it opens and everything else. These actually fit in here pretty well. They don't move around too much. Like if I start doing this and then put them in, they don't fall out, which is nice, especially for charging. You don't want it to kind of mess up. So you can see they're trying to charge right now off what little battery power this has. So just like the rest, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna charge these overnight. I'm gonna work out with them in the morning, which includes at least a mile run, if not more. And then I'm going to be testing them on stream, not tonight, but the next night, and see how I like them. These are gonna actually get tested with Hell Divers too, and then I'm gonna actually test all of them with some type of shooting game at some point. But I'm gonna be testing these on stream Thursday night, so that'll be super cool. But uh, yeah, I guess more to come on the. The Hecate Edifier GX07s. Super cool looking. All right, so after working with these Hecate Edifiers for a little over a week now, I've tested them on all kinds of fancy stuff like Power World and <laughs> Hell Divers because those are the fun things that are going. But I also tested them with like at the gym um, while I was running and everything else. Like I have all the other headsets. And I've got to say that these are fantastic. I really like the comfort of these. The aesthetic is super cool. We've compared it to like having a DeLorean of the headset world at this point. And I, I will let you know that if you hit 88 miles per hour in these, you do not travel either into or back in the future. So sorry for that. But they do a great job at what they do. And that is be good earbuds. So I'm going to go over the list of the pros and the cons that I found with these, just like all the other headsets I've done so far. First off, they sounded great right out of the box. Um, they fit super comfortably. I like how on these, they have this rounded thing here. It kind of takes away from uh, the capability of this little, this pointy area that you think would stick you in the ear. It doesn't because of this 
buffer area here with the round tip. So I really like that. I think that these had to be some of the most comfortable heads earbuds I've had in a while. Um, the noise canceling on these are off the freaking charts, like right out of the box. Um, I will tell you that my diesel truck sounded like a regular car with these things on. The battery lasted about six hours and I forgot to turn off the lights and the noise canceling until about halfway through. So they could probably go longer. So normally when I do the testing, I just test with no lights on, no noise canceling, no ambient noise, nothing, all the settings off. And even with me forgetting to do that, these lasted six hours after I turned them off. So after about two or three hours, I realized that the noise canceling was still on. And so I had to turn it off and then I wasn't going to restart testing because I had so many others to test. So I would say that these probably get closer somewhere between six and seven hours with everything turned off. And that's about what the website says that they get. So these are fantastic for length when it comes to that recharge times. So this has one of the quickest re recharges that I've had that I've seen in a long time. After 15 minutes, these were back to 75% charged. That is a quick charge. If you are in a bind, you can plug these things in for 15 minutes and get some charge out of them. Now, it's going to take a little bit longer than 75 if you have to have, actually have to charge the case as well. But if for whatever reason, these ran dead on you and you need to get some time back, 75% power, you almost get your like four, three to four more hours out of them, if not a little bit more at 75%. So fantastic. At the 30 minute point, Normally, I have another charge setting, but when I looked at it in 30 minutes, it was already at 100%. So I'm going to say that the charge time is 100% at 30 minutes, which is fantastic. I mean, you get 100% charge out of these things in, uh, in 30 minutes. It's, it's amazing. The aesthetic of these, obviously, super freaking cool once you got everything set up. And uh, when I turned on the noise canceling and gaming mode with lights on, now this is everything turned on, they lasted four and a half hours. This is while I'm gaming and streaming and everything else. So the more things you can turn off, the longer they'll last. I don't need noise canceling for streams. I'm already loud enough as it is. I don't need to not hear myself and try and talk louder. But gaming mode is super nice. Uh, it cancels out a lot of the delay that you would normally see between headsets and gaming. Uh, you don't have to use gaming mode when you're watching movies and stuff. They automatically desync everything on purpose because they understand that people are going to be using Bluetooth headsets and such. So that's only for gaming. If you're not gaming on these, you can get a lot more time out of them. Like I said, something between six and seven hours. All right. <clears throat> Here is the downfalls that I found with this. Um, first off, I could not figure out the tapping because it was, I'm like, why is this not working? Once I figured out that the app actually had a sensitivity train uh, thing, that actually becomes a great thing uh, because you can adjust the sensitivity. Unfortunately, it took me time to figure that out and it wasn't like super intuitive right away on the app. So the app uh, looks super cool and, it, uh, and, and works well, but it takes a little bit of figuring out to do. There's no equalizer on, of any type on these, just a game mode, an ambient node, and a noise canceling mode. Like I said, I did find more controls in the setting cog, but there's still no equalizer, but they did have some uh, a music mode as well. So, but, I will tell you, you can actually button push and cycle through all that stuff yourself. You don't necessarily have to use the app to do that. Like I said, right out of the box, I could not work any of the button pushes. You have to use the app to go in and adjust your, your sensitivities to, to that. So you're going to have to use your phone to actually go and adjust the sensitivity. But again, that becomes a plus because nothing else had sensitivity adjustments on how on your tapping. So you can actually adjust it to how you normally tap instead of having to get used to what the what the headset is. So that's pretty cool. There is no e PC app. So um, for those of you that are only going to be using this with a PC or something, there's no app that's only on the PC. Only one pair of things that we've actually looked at of the earbuds that we've actually looked at have had a PC app. And I don't like that app anyway. So I, I've done everything through my phone anyhow. So 
but there, like I said, there's no there's no PC, so you're gonna have to do everything off the app and the phone. So speaking of the phone app, let's check it out. I kind of like the way it looked, and it was very simplistic. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right. By the way, a neat little trick. Um, these were not pairing to my head to my phone for whatever reason. So if you just hold this button down right here, it actually puts it into pairing mode. There's no pairing mode on the headset itself from that I can find uh, when it comes to button pushes and stuff. But uh, that right there does it. Just hold that down. Anyways, so um, I really like the Edifier Connect app. These are an Edifier headset, so you're gonna need to download that. All right, I really did like this app. It was very simple. Once everything's hooked up and your Bluetooth is hooked up, it should automatically click over to your headset. And like I said, this is a super cool looking thing. It gives you the left and the right tells you what percentages it is. You have noise canceling on and off. Again, you can set these and then also uh, go through the process of uh, uh, leaving it in that mode once it's on. So I turn on off ambient sound mode, you can turn on and then it actually has a level of ambient sound. So this is an adjustable ambient sound. So how much sound comes through from the outside, you can adjust this to be more powerful or less. I like it in the middle personally. So I thought that this was everything else that you could do from here. You can actually play music from here as well. There's a little spot to hit play. But if you hit this little thing right here, it comes up with all the rest of the stuff. And this is where I got confused early on and didn't realize that it has all this stuff. So you can actually go through, hit uh, tap sensitivity. So you can turn the sensitivity up or down. It defaulted to me at zero. So obviously I'm gonna have to like slam myself in the head to make the tapping work. Um, you can do uh, wearing detection on or off. I personally like to leave it off so that way I can set them down and then go do stuff and then come back and put them back in if I need to, especially if I'm on stream. Um, game mode, you can turn on and off here. Disable game mode, we'll do that for now. You can power them on or off. You can prompt the volume. So technically you can pull this up and then move the volume as you as you like. You can disconnect, you can repair them if for whatever reason they're not paired properly. You can also put them in the factory settings and it has indicator light. And as you see, it says the setting is only effective for the indicator light during music playing. So I'm assuming that for whatever reason, like the music playing will actually like light it up or whatever. I didn't test that because I wasn't like looking for that and I didn't test it with like the lights on in music mode or whatever. I just turned them on and then did whatever I was gonna do until they died when I was testing for longevity. Okay, I'm gonna turn them back off. I don't like them. And so very, very simplistic. You can click here, it tells you what firmware it is. I'm assuming that when, if there were any firmware updates that needed to be done, it would do it through this app, just like anything else. They also have a shutdown timer. So this the, this app had to be one of the easiest to work with and learn once I figured out that there was more settings in the wheel itself and really, really fantastic app. And it looks super futuristic. I mean, from my understanding, I'm gonna shut this and it's gonna mess this up. From my understanding, they took a lot of, um, of their aesthetic from Cyberpunk. You can actually order a yellow and black version of these. I personally like the gray. I felt more like it was a DeLorean than uh, Cyberpunk myself, but still fantastic headset, and I have no real complaints about it. The surround sound is, I mean, I mean, really, in all reality, the surround sound is maybe a little bit less than the other ones. But again, this is, these are earbuds. You're not necessarily going for a super big surround sound, but I never had any problems playing with these in Helldivers 2 or anything else. So those were super nice. So I'm gonna get a quick recording of these so that you guys can see what it is uh, they sound like when I'm talking and I'm gonna turn off all my filters on this to compare them to my Elgato Wave 3. All right, this is a quick check of what the Hecate Edifier GX07 sound like without any filters or anything else. This is turned off, it's muted as you can see, and it's just the headset. So now we're gonna test the Elgato Wave 3 with it so you can see the difference. This is on through OBS with a negative five uh, dB setting. All right, this is my Elgato Wave 3. I have no filters on it, no noise suppression, no nothing, and it's set at the same negative five dB. I just want you to hear the difference between the headset themselves 
and this. All right, so overall, I really, really like these. The aesthetic is cool, the sound is fantastic, the app is very simplistic, and if for some reason you can't get it to pair, they have a cool pairing button and you don't have to tap yourself a thousand times. The adjustability of the tap sensitivity is something that I have not seen in a headset or earbuds like ever. So that was super cool. And being able to adjust the ambient noise is also really cool. I tend to run a, a run a lot and I use my AirPods in transparency mode. I can see actually using these as well uh, instead and actually turning up the ambient noise. It'll kill the battery faster, but you know, by not being able to hear cars, that's not great for a runner. These were great in the gym. They were great on my mile run that I did with them. I tested them all that way and I have like zero freaking complaints about these things. The coloring, um, I mean, like I said, you can get them in different colors. The aesthetic is super cool. I really like how it looked like I, I'm reminded of a DeLorean. I think they said they took their inspiration from some other type of sports car, but by all means, man, this is a, a DeLorean to me. I granted, yes, it should open to the side or whatever. But to me, these are the DeLorean of my earbuds and I love the DeLorean. I will let you know that these are not part of the giveaway. These are what I chose, and you will see why in the comparison video. These were not the best headset, but they were the best headset for me. I like the longevity. I like the amount of sound I can get out of these. There was no needing to adjust any equalizers because there's no equalizer to adjust on these. So I would highly recommend these to anybody that needs something that'll go, like I said, about four and a half, five hours with game mode and six to seven hours without game mode and every kind of thing kind of turned off. These, these are great. They're simple. They have a cool aesthetic. And I mean, really? They're just, they're just an overall good set of earbuds. Can you get stuff for cheaper? Yep, but uh, if you want gaming mode and low latency, these are probably the best way to go, in my personal opinion. Anyways, thanks a lot, everybody. If you, we are doing a giveaway of some of the other headsets that we are doing uh, for a Razer Hammerhead and for the ROG Cetra, both fantastic earbuds as well. Just follow the link below if it's before March 31st, 2024, and you will be able to enter that giveaway. If not, you're going to have to buy those two other headsets on your own. And there'll be a link underneath each of the videos that I did for those. And you can actually go back and see those videos. I'm going to be doing a comparison video of all the headsets that I've done coming up. And we also have two more headsets that we're going to be looking at. So it would be best if you were to just sub and hit the notification button and you can see all the other stuff that's coming out. So that's basically it. In my opinion, these are fantastic headset. If it's something you want, also there is an Amazon link below for these. Anyhow, thank you guys very much. I'm going to have to get out of here and edit some videos, and we'll see you next time on The House of Jacobs.